Singapore, a polo club founded in 1985 in the county of Berkshire, England, will be allowed to keep its trademark for its line of consumer goods, after an application to invalidate it by fashion brand Polo slash Lauren Co. was thrown out by the Intellectual Property Office of Singapore, IPOs, last week. In October 2011, Royal County of Berkshire Polo Club, which had ventured into producing consumer goods such as spectacles, leather goods, and clothing, registered its trademark bearing the silhouetted image of a polo player and the phrases Royal County of Berkshire and Polo Club. The trademark had been used in places such as Malaysia and Britain, but had not yet been used in Singapore. In December 2013, Polo slash Lauren Co., a subsidiary of Ralph Lauren Corp., applied for the trademark to be declared invalid, on the grounds, among other things, that it is confusingly similar to its own earlier trademarks. Polo slash Lauren Co. has some 51 marks registered in Singapore containing or consisting of the word polo and slash or a polo player image for different types of consumer goods. Its argument was that the word polo and the polo player image were essential to its trademarks and an indispensable component in its family of trademarks. Members of the public in Singapore have come to associate trademarks containing such features with Polo slash Lauren Co. and no other, it added. Royal County of Berkshire Polo Club was represented by lawyer Janet Lim, while Polo slash Lauren Co. was represented by lawyer Sukuma Karupia. In a judgment released on Friday, December 22, IPO's principal assistant registrar of trademarks Tan Malin said that overall, there would not be a likelihood of confusion between the two companies' trademarks. Based on evidence provided, Polo slash Lauren Koss trademarks are typically used in conjunction with the highly distinctive words Ralph Lauren, she said. She was also unable to conclude that consumers relied on the word polo and the polo player image alone to identify the company's goods. Among the points made, she also noted that this was not the first time that Polo slash Lauren Co. had attempted to stop a competitor from using such signs in the area of consumer goods. In the past 12 years, at least six cases were heard on similar issues, with various outcomes.